Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, you know that I am a fan of flower petals. And I got a new one here from him. This is a Castilleja, and this is an optical analog phaser that's controlled digitally. It's pretty wild. Castilleja, as I mentioned earlier, is an analog four-stage phaser that is controlled digitally. And Castilleja, the plant is a prairie plant, and it is sometimes called prairie fire because it is bright red and vibrant and colorful. And I have noticed that Matt at Flower Petals tends to name his petals after a plant that best visually describes the way the petal sounds. And he could not have been more on the nose with this because this is a vibrant and colorful petal. You have the choice between your optical uh, phaser, phase 90 kinds of sounds. You have a univibe setting. You have a choice between di some different ramping options. Then you have a feedback selector. You can use high feedback, medium feedback, or no feedback. You have a couple different waveforms to select from tap tempo. Per usual, Flower Petals has crammed a lot of options into a very small enclosure. I'm going to throw it down here on a mix. I'm going to throw it on multiple guitar tracks as well as multiple Rhodes tracks. So we'll just be swimming the whole time. And um, after I'm done there, come on back and uh, we will run through this thing all on its lonesome. <laughs> to get to with this here pedal. So I think I should just get started. I am running a Fender American Professional 2 Stratocaster with Right to Sound High Road pickups in it. And I'm running that into a Silk Tone amplifier. That sounds like this. All right, so we're gonna start with the knobs. We'll look at the knobs first. We'll do the dip switches later. On the top, we have an intensity control, and that is the level, uh, it's the intensity of the waveforms themselves. I think of it as kind of a depth control. And then next to that, we have the actual waveform selector. 
we have a level control and there's actually a fair amount of volume on here which is cool and it'll push the front end of your amp and, and the reason i'm saying it's cool is because that's always cool but also because analog phasers tend to have some inherent distorted qualities of their own so you mix those with the amplifier and it's and then we have a speed control speed can also be controlled externally with either a tap or expression pedal uh, otherwise there is a uh, tap tempo controller right here on the pedal itself so starting with just the knobs in the phaser setting let's uh, let's make some sounds <laughs> So there we did the knobs we did the intensity we went from low intensity to high intensity we checked out all of the different waveforms at high intensity and um we messed with the speed we also tapped in a tempo as well so now we have these switches and we're going to start with the top switch and the top switch is will allow you to switch between phaser and univibe just like that but there is a hidden menu item on here secret menu item and um, like any good Univibe, you can switch between chorus and vibrato. You can do so on this pedal as well. So if you hold down the hold button and you push up or down, we'll start at the top, the green LED, that is the chorus setting, which is actually what we uh, most often associate with the sound of Univibe. <laughs> Thank you. 
setting and I'm going to skip over the middle toggle just for right now. We'll go down to the bottom toggle here and that is a feedback selector. You got none, medium and high and I don't know what the feedback selector is doing from a technical standpoint but from my ears it sounds like the more you bring it up just the more oomph you're getting on the on the waveforms just just lots more eh, as you go and I, that I'll just show you. <laughs> which is the act of going from one tempo to another tempo or one speed to another speed, all with the click of a button, the ramp button. So you hit this button and ramp, it'll go to the other tempo. And uh, you choose the speed at which it goes from point A to point B by holding down the hold button and then uh, turning the waveform selector knob. So if you want a real fast ramp, you set it that way. If you want a real nice, slow, gradual ramp, you set it that way. And uh, you control the speed that you are ramping to, whether that is faster or slower, by again holding down the hold button and adjusting the speed knob. Now, in the middle, we have this selector here. We have a, a momentary, which is you touch the ramp button and it will ramp to that speed. And then the second you let off, it goes back down to your original speed. In the middle, we have a latching function, and that's where you just tap the button and it goes to the next speed, and then you tap the button again and it goes back down. So here's an example of that. So the very bottom toggle is called drift and basically what you're doing is you're drifting between the two tempos and it makes for a really, really cool effect and really cool sound. <laughs> So yeah, that was just a real brief overview of the functions and uh, some sound samples from the flower pedals Castilleja analog phaser. Super cool pedal. Lots and lots to do with this pedal. Um, lots and lots to get to. And it's, uh, it's it's just great. It's, you know, Matt has just this incredible talent of just putting so many options in one tiny little box. And um, 
I appreciate him for that. And I appreciate you for sticking this out. So, hey, thank you for your time. Thank you.